So as a lot of people know, Barnes & Noble recently had a really big pre-order sale and I decided to get in on this sale and I pre-ordered a lot of books. Some of these books I am simply jumping on the hype train and people were talking about it and I decided that I wanted to pre-order it, give it a try. The good thing with Barnes & Noble is that they don't charge you until the book actually ships. So I have some time to cancel if I decide that I don't actually want to get some of these. So I kind of pre-ordered more than I hope to actually commit to later but here's going to be an exhaustive list of all the books that I decided to pre-order from Barnes & Noble for their 25% off pre-order sale. Starting off strong, the first one is The Ashes and The Star-Cursed King by Cursed Broadbent. I read The Serpent and the Wings of Night a couple of months ago, absolutely loved it, and I haven't actually read the sequel yet. However, I am really excited for the hardcover edition to come out because I want to get the hardcover versions of these books. I know that they are super thick and I would just prefer having the hardcovers. So while I haven't even purchased the first one yet, I did pre-order the second one in the hardcover. I could buy it paperback, but I prefer the hardcover. So I pre-ordered this one for release, I think in like July maybe. So I've got a while to hold off on this and I haven't purchased the hardback in Serpent, but it's been really annoying because they released like the paperback paperback of the second one but the hardcover of the first one and it's just impossible to mix and match so I am going to get the hardcover of both and so I have this one on pre-order that's the first one on my list the second book that I got I have no idea if I'm going to like it but it comes out in February and this is A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen this one the book is so pretty I mean the light blue sprayed edges I just love it. So I'm really excited to get this one. I have no idea if I'm going to end up liking it. This is a fantasy and I'm going to be honest, I feel like I've seen this book so many times. I've read the description and I just don't know how to feel about it. It's still on my pre-order list. I have about a month if I want to decide to actually commit to it or not. But for now, I did pre-order it and we will see if I stick to that by the time it ends up coming out. Next up on the list is The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. I honestly don't know what this book is going to be about, but I love Lee Bardugo. I have really enjoyed almost every single one of the books that I've read from her. Obviously I have read the Shadow and Bone Six of Crows series and I really really loved those and then she also has Ninth House and Hellbent and I read both of those. I liked Hellbent a little bit less but I still really like her writing and I'm excited to see what this new book is going to be about. I believe this is a standalone so it's going to be really exciting and I just had to get in on that pre-order. Again I can decide if I don't want to get it later but I feel pretty confident that this one's going to stay on my list simply because I love this author and I have full faith that I'm going to end up liking this one. But following The Familiar, the next one that I pre-ordered is Heavenbreaker by Sarah Wolf, and this book I absolutely know nothing about. I'm getting it simply because this cover is stunning. I mean, seriously, the first edition is absolutely so pretty. The sprayed edges immediately hit add to my cart. Like, I, I couldn't resist this temptation. It is absolutely a stunning book, and I cannot wait to actually find out if the book itself is as good as the cover makes it seem like it's gonna be. So this one was kind of a cover buy, which I have absolutely no problems with. But again, because I don't actually know if I'm going to like the story itself, I do have some time if I decide to cancel this before the book is actually released. However, the next book on my list is one that I already know that I want. I'm not going to be deleting this from my pre-orders because it is Apprentice to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. This is the second book in her series. Assistant to the Villain is the first one and this was in my top 10 books of 2023. I absolutely loved this book. It is a fantasy romance that I think is more of a cozy fantasy but I absolutely love the characters. I love the dynamic between them. The grumpy sunshine trope is just out of this world. I loved this book and I'm really excited for the sequel to be coming out. I know the author has been kind of hinting at things here and there about what this book is going to bring and I'm really excited for this experience. Experience. There isn't even like the formal cover photo for it yet, but I still pre-ordered it because I know I'm going to want to read it because I loved the first one so much. So this one was an immediate add to cart and I know for a fact that this one will be staying in my orders until the book officially comes out. And the same thing goes for the next two books that are on my list and these two are by the same author and they are also sequel works to a book that I already read and was also in my top 10 books of 2023 and these are Reckless and Powerful by Lauren Roberts. Reckless is the sequel. This is the actual like next step in the story for our main characters that were in the first book, Powerless, and Powerful is a novella that kind of goes in between the books that follows a different character, a side character from the first book. I guess it doesn't really go in between one and two, 
but it is a side character from book one just giving you a little bit more of backstory on this character and I am really excited to get these. I did end up getting the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Powerful, the novella, because I think it's a lot prettier. I think it fits better with the covers of one and two as far as like the color scheme. The traditional publishing is an all white cover, which like it's not bad, but because both of the other books in their traditional publishing are mostly black, I like the Barnes & Noble edition of powerful which is all black as well so it kind of matches a little bit better and I'm really excited for these books simply because I loved powerless so much and I'm really excited for the story to continue so again this was an easy addition to my pre-order list because I know that I like the first one and I know that I really want to read the next one and again with another book that I'm really excited because it's a sequel this one I read this year and I cannot wait for the second one to come out, but the book that I pre-ordered is Leather and Lark by Bryn Weaver. This is a sequel to Butcher and Blackbird, which I read in January and have not stopped thinking about since. Like, I'm obsessed with it and immediately upon reading it, it became a contender for probably my top books of 2024, which is really exciting. And the fact that the sequel is coming out this year is just amazing. I cannot wait for this book. This is a dark romantic comedy and I absolutely am obsessed with it but the sequel is going to follow two different characters so we're going to have the best friend of the main character from the first one and the brother of the other main character from the first one which I am so excited for. I think these characters we already got enough of a spotlight on them in book one to really be intrigued by what this relationship is going to look like in book two so I cannot wait and this was actually funny because I pre-ordered this book before I read Butcher and Blackbird. I just had faith that I was going to really like it and thank goodness I really did. So now I already have the pre-order down for the second one and Bryn Weaver, I don't know how you do it but this book was so good and I cannot wait for the next one to come out. And the same goes for the next book on my list which there is a pattern here. If I like a book I'm gonna pre-order the sequel and here the next one is actually the third book in a series in a very similar style to the previous romance that I mentioned. The next one is another romance and it is Daydream by Hannah Grace. This is the third book in the Maple Hill series which is Icebreaker and Wildfire and I was shocked by how much I ended up loving Icebreaker. It was cute, it was fun, it was a lot but I ended up really really enjoying it. Icebreaker follows a hockey player and a figure skater but the female main character from book two is unrelated mostly to the rest of the story but she ends up having a one night stand with one of the other guys from the hockey team and then they end up working together at a summer camp and it was immaculate vibes. Now Daydream is going to follow a third guy from the same hockey team that we have met and pretty much fallen in love with in the first two books so I'm really excited to see his story and where this is going to go. The cover shows them kind of like in a library like there's stacks of books or like bookshelves in the background which makes me very excited to see where this is going to go so I cannot wait to find out what's going to happen in Daydream so of course I had to add it to my pre-order list because I knew I already wanted to get it. I own Icebreaker but I don't own Wildfire so I need to get Wildfire so that I can get Daydream and have the whole set but I'm really excited because these books are so good. They're so cute, they're fun, they're spicy but they are so much fun and I really can't wait to have this next one. Now the rest of the books on this list are going to be new releases that are completely unrelated to other books that I've read but there's probably some reason why I'm pre-ordering them except for this next one I definitely spoke too early because Five Broken Blades by Mai Corland. I have absolutely no idea what this book is going to be about but it's a really pretty pre-order first edition so I had to pre-order it. I think this is another one of those books that I might decide later on if I want to keep it or cancel it before the book comes out but for now I did want to get in on the first edition pre-order because the cover looks really pretty, sprayed edges look really pretty, and I don't actually remember what the description was about but I'm sure when I read it the first time it sounded like it was going to be pretty good and this is a fantasy. I'm, I think it's going to be fantasy romance. Honestly off the top of my head I can't remember what the synopsis was but I remember reading it and really thinking this book was going to be interesting so I immediately pre-ordered it on Amazon and then you know I just had to copy it over to Barnes & Noble during the sale so I could try to get a better deal on it. And speaking of pretty books, the next one on my list, and I realize this is kind of chaotic, but at the same time, me ordering all these books was very chaotic. It was quite literally a kid in a candy store. I was just let loose on this list. I accidentally ordered way more books than I need to. Thank God they aren't all charged at the same time. But still, I went a little bit crazy and you are 
definitely being able to pick up on that as I'm going. But the next book I'm really excited for for a different reason because this is the illustrated edition of The Hunger Games, which I love The Hunger Games. I have always loved The Hunger Games and the books and the movies. And I have all of the hardback editions of them on my shelf but just recently they announced that there's going to be an illustrated edition which I am really excited for because I love the books but I also love the movies and I am really excited to see how the book descriptions are brought to life in illustrations that may or may not align with what we know in the movies so I'm kind of really intrigued by what this is going to kind of look like in respect to what people already imagine versus what these pictures are going to show. So this one is just really exciting because I love The Hunger Games and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to pre-order this for a sale and know that I have it secured. I don't think this comes out until like October so there's like so much time until then but they just recently announced it so I knew that I had to jump on this opportunity while I had the chance. The next book on the list is The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song. Now I don't actually know if I've heard anybody else talking about this book but I found it somewhere where did I even find it maybe on NetGalley I don't think I got approved for the arc but the book sounded so interesting that I could not like I could not not pre-order it so that is how this book ended up on my list even though I don't think I've really heard anybody talking about it however I believe this is a book that is going to kind of follow the legend of Mulan almost like a Mulan retelling of a woman who has to impersonate her father in the imperial draft because he is unable to go in his own place so she's going to take his place and then the rest of the story is going to follow her adventure in the imperial draft and the people that she meets along the way and what is going to happen. It sounds so interesting and the cover is absolutely stunning plus the first edition is beyond breathtaking so I immediately added this to my list as soon as I got rejected for the arc. I knew I was just gonna buy the book anyway so I immediately got the pre-order on my list and I cannot wait to get this book because it is so pretty but it also sounds so good and I love The Legend of Mulan in general so I am really looking forward to experiencing this kind of retelling of it and how the story is going to go. I cannot wait. As far as books that are not sequels that I'm excited for, I feel like this one actually might be the one that I am the most excited for simply because it sounds so interesting. It has a pretty good rating so far at 4.2 on Goodreads and that makes me feel pretty hopeful that this book is going to end up being good and the fact that it is stunning. Like like honestly the cover sold it for me but the description is also just as good. So I'm really excited for this one and I absolutely could not pass up the opportunity to add this to my pre-order list. The next book on the list is another pre-order from an author that I've only read a short story from and this is Paul Tremblay's horror movie. I love horror movies and I think this story is going to follow a group of people who are making a horror movie which just sounds amazing. Like everything about this description sounds like it's going to be made for Monica's horror taste so I'm really excited for this one and the short story that I read from Paul Tremblay was really good and it makes me interested to read more from him so that is another reason why I'm excited to pick this one up and I figured what better chance than to just go ahead and get it with the pre-order sale so here's to hoping this one lives up to my expectations and the same can be said about the next book on the list which is a romance. It is Haunted Ever After by Jen DeLuca. Now Jen DeLuca wrote Well Met which I devoured in one day and was absolutely obsessed with because it's a rom-com about the Renaissance Fair and I loved that book. I actually haven't read the rest of the series yet but there's like four books in the series and I have all the special editions. It, I'm mildly obsessed with the Renaissance Fair. So when I found out that she was reading another book and this one sounds like it's about ghosts to some extent, Haunted Ever After, immediately added it to my list. Like as soon as I found out that it was a thing, I made it my thing. So I am excited to get this one. I don't actually remember when it's being released. However, I cannot wait for it because I have loved Jen DeLuca's writing and I can't wait to even get to some of the other books from her that I haven't read yet. And I just, I just need to have this one. Like I just need to. So it's on my list now. And following this one is another author that I have read from before and really really liked but I didn't get approved for the NetGalley arc so I'm just gonna buy the book myself and that is Happy Medium by Sarah Adler. I read Mrs. Nash's Ashes and absolutely loved it and I think that I might actually be going to an event with her at the end of February which I'm really excited for. However this book doesn't come out until like April so unfortunately this book won't be out yet. However I am excited for it because I feel like it's going to give me those like spooky vibes but like it's a rom-com so it's gonna be like every vibe that I'm looking for. I'm hopeful 
Anyway, I've loved her other book. I think this is only her second release, but it makes me really excited. So I can't wait for this one to officially come out so I can have this one. And then finally, the last book that I pre-ordered with the Barnes & Noble pre-order sale is another author that I have read from and really, really liked. And this is a very highly anticipated release for not just me, but tons of other people. And that is Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. Riley Sager is a very well-known thriller author. And of course, with his new one coming out, of course, I have to give this one a try. I think it's going to be about a disappearance, like a, a kid disappearance appears and then a couple years later kind of like signs of him start appearing again. His best friend who was there when he disappeared the first time is going to be kind of seeing these things and wondering what it's supposed to mean if he's still out there and what what's going to happen. I have full trust in Riley Sager because I have thoroughly enjoyed everything that I've read from him so far. So this one, I don't think I have anything to worry about. And also the cover, I am really, really, really hoping that the cover is going to be glow in the dark because this green writing just screams glow in the dark to me and the fact that it's a thriller it's gonna have some dark undertones I'm I'm hopeful but also I don't think I've actually seen anything confirming or denying this so this is just my hope for it that it's gonna be a glow in the dark cover I know um what is it first lie wins by Ashley Elston it was a part of book of the month for I think December maybe and that one is glow in the dark and it has like the bright green writing similar to this one so I'm really really hoping that that's what this one is gonna be too but also I don't know for sure. But anyway, those are all the books that I decided to pre-order for the Barnes & Noble 25% off pre-order sale. And I'm really excited for all of them. I think that was maybe like 18, 19 books. I, I didn't actually count because I think it would make me more sad than anything. But I'm really excited for all these books. And again, I really enjoy the fact that Barnes & Noble will let you cancel them before the book comes out and you aren't charged until it ships anyway. Even though I really don't think that I'm going to want to cancel many, if any, of these books. But I have really fallen in love with these like pretty first edition special edition books and so being able to get on that pre-order list and know that if I decide that I do want to keep it that I have that first edition already on lock makes me feel very secure and I'm just really excited for all of them because some of these books are going to be so pretty and the ones that I have already read from the author or it's a part of a series that I've already read like I'm just really excited for it and I think it's going to be really fun to be getting these books throughout the year because I think some of them come out you know within the next two months three months maybe but some of them aren't coming out until June July August and so I am probably going to even forget that I pre-ordered them and then it's going to be a really nice surprise when I get closer to that time or even when they show up at my door and I didn't even know they were coming so I'm really looking forward to this the pre-orders are really exciting because it also helps me get an idea of what's to come and just know some anticipated releases so you could say all of these books are some of my most anticipated releases of this year I think there are some other ones that I didn't mention just because I've already had them pre-ordered like Bride by Ellie Hazelwood comes out on February 6th and I already have that one pre ordered uh, from multiple places. So that one I didn't need to go ahead and pre-order because I've had it for a while. The same goes with Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammeroff. That one comes out on February 20th and I'm going to her book release party for that. So I pre-ordered it through my indie bookstore just so I could support them and also because I'm going to get it signed when I meet her. So those are a couple of my other really, really, really highly anticipated releases because I read those back in 2023 and they both were in my top 10 list for the year. So I've just really been looking forward to those and I already had them pre-ordered otherwise I would have added them to this list too. So that's kind of a wrap up of my Barnes & Noble pre-order list but also my most anticipated releases of 2024 and I'll probably have to do another video later in the year of more anticipated releases once there are some more books, more dates, things that are released about other books that I am really excited for. But for now, that's everything I've got. I would love to hear your thoughts if there are any of the books that I mentioned that you either have also pre-ordered or books that you're excited for, or if you pre-ordered anything else from the Barnes & Noble pre-order, I'd love to hear that as well. I think this was a lot of fun. I've been in a couple of group chats where people have been sharing the books that they purchased for the sale, and it's just been so fun getting to know some of the books people are really excited for. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and especially if any of the ones that I ordered are ones that you also ordered or are interested in, because I think that the ones that I've obviously already been familiar with the author or the book, I'm just excited for that reason but some of these are going to be new authors to me or they're going to just be new books that I don't know a whole lot about so that's going to be exciting to get to know as well. As always I appreciate you being here to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you will hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos that I have coming. I am very excited for it. This year is going to be really great especially with all these new books coming out so I can't wait to share more of my thoughts with you as the year goes on. I hope that you'll come along with me but for now thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.